Welcome to PyGPS YouTube channel. Today we will show you the basic concepts of our new V2 Finder Portal short version 2. First download the app from the iOS App Store or from the Google Play Store or enter the website v2.finder-portal.com. You may also find the link in this video's description. If you still don't have access you will find the instructional video for registration in the description below. In order to log in, enter your user details which will consist of an email address and a password. In the next column you will be able to set the portal language before you log in. Let's start navigating the map. If you hold down the left button of your mouse and move it, the map will move accordingly. In order to zoom in and out on the map, use the mouse scroll wheel. You can also use the plus and minus symbols on the top left hand corner to do this. On the bottom right hand corner you will be able to open up a menu that will allow you to adjust the map view even more. You can open and close this menu by pressing the X. The first symbol will activate the 3D view. In this 3D view the mouse right button has a slightly different function. If you hold it down and move it the map will rotate around itself. This will allow you to view an object from different angles. The next option will make sure the map rotates automatically. The third option allows you to show your device's stop or the alarm notifications by showing a symbol on the route line. This way you can see exactly where an alarm was triggered. If a symbol has a black background the option is disabled. If it has an orange background the option is enabled. This applies to all menu options. The X closes the menu again. The fourth symbol is used to show or hide each root point. This also applies to the last symbol which is used to show or hide the root lines joining each root point. This way you will always have a general overview and can adapt the map as you need. The second to last symbol changes the map to a heat map. Places your GPS tracker has been located at the more frequently will be colored in red. Where your tracker has emitted GPS signal less frequently, the map will be colored in green. If you click on this option again, you will return to the normal map view. On the top right hand corner you will be able to visualize all unread alarm notifications by clicking on the bell symbol. You can click on each one of the alarm notifications and mark them all as red. Right to the bell symbol is the device menu, where you will see a list of all your devices. This menu will be explained in further detail in another video. On the top left hand corner you will find the portal menu. We will also explain each point in more detail in another video. However, we will give you some details regarding the app settings because it explains basic settings on your portal. In the general tab, you will be able to set a different language. Click OK to save your language setting. Next, you can enable or disable the automatic logout of the app whenever you close it. If this function is enabled, you will be asked to enter your login details again when you reopen the app. The night mode will switch your map colors. White becomes black and black becomes white. Choose whichever option is more comfortable for you. You can also show or hide the email numbers of your trackers on each individual tracker on the device list menu. This will allow you to identify several trackers more accurately. The email number will always match the number printed on the sticker of your device. In the map tab of the app settings the root point icon can be changed from an arrow to a circle or vice versa. Next you can switch between different units of length, kilometers or miles. You can also change the map style and choose between the standard, hill and light map. The hill map shows altitudes on the map and the light map is a more basic version of the standard map, which improves its speed. 
This option is useful when the internet connection available is weak or slow. The option to adjust the route to the road will basically place route points on roads. This is useful when you use your tracker on a vehicle. The first slider will let you change the route line width. The second slider will let you change the size of the tracker icon. In the performance settings you will find further options to change the portal speed and adapt it to your needs. The option of using clustered device icons you will be able to combine all device icons that are nearby into one icon. When you zoom into the map each individual device is visible again. This will make it easy to track a large group of devices. The next option will allow you replace the blinking spot when the tracker is transmitting data with the green dot. The third option will divide the animation when the tracker is moving. This means that the tracker will not follow the route but will jump to the next location point. The last option will let you set a default image for all your devices. In the Notifications tab you will be able to set up to three email addresses as recipients of the alarm notifications. So that would be all regarding the basic of the new V2 Finder portal. Our next video talks about the device list menu found on the right hand side of the Finder portal. We will explain parts of the menu such as the alarm settings. In order to watch this video click on it once it shows or click on the link in the description.